up you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here hello my name is latori and here on my channel i am just taking you guys along with me while i am starting my at-home candle business and i'm taking you guys along with me on my weight gain journey and i'm just going to be showing you guys a little ins and outs and tips and tricks of natural hairstyles and things like that to maintain your natural hair so if you are interested in more of that content you guys please do not forget to like comment and subscribe down below hit that thumbs up you guys hit that bell so that you guys can be notified every time that I post a video but we are going to get straight into the video okay you guys today we are going to be making some candles and i am going to be testing out my new candle tins that i did order these from amazon these are eight ounce tins they are really they are matte black they have a golden trim around them they are really 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 gorgeous and it's golden inside it's a nice nice size you guys and i thought these were really really cute so I ordered this in, these came in a 24 pack. So I got these in a 24 pack for, I want to say, $20 or so. I'm not for sure, but um, if I can't figure out how to drop the link, I definitely will add a screenshot of the um, tins that I ordered off of Amazon. So today, we're just going to make three of my Bourbon Eye candles. I definitely am so excited, you guys, to try these out. I love the way they look. I love the matte black so we're going to definitely make three candles i have an order she um enjoys smelling my um my bourbon night candles so she put in an order for three so we're going to make three candles today and we're going to get into it so yeah so next you guys now that we have our tins out the way or the material that you will be using to make your candles now that we have those we is going to come back to them so we can wick them in a minute We'll be back to with those. But next, you will need a pouring pitcher. You need your pouring pitcher. You need something to melt down your wax in. And I just ordered this little two-pound um, pouring pitcher off of Amazon. It was um, maybe $12. It came with, like, some wigs and some um, wig holders, like, two wig holders for, like, $12. So you can go over there and find any, all kind of pouring pitchers, big, small, white, black, whatever color over on amazon so go check them out on amazon if you do not own a porn picture but this is one of the main ingredients one of the main utensils that you would need to be able to make your candles you need something to melt down your uh wax so i'm going in with my um tin porn picture and look you want to have it to where it's like a, a a a point on it so when you pour it it just it won't make a big mess you know so now we I, mean, I just want to show you guys the wax that i am using to uh, make the candles what I've been using okay you guys so the wax that I am using is it's heavy y'all I may have to pick the whole thing up but I, I want to show y'all what it is I might have to pick the whole box up but the wax that I am using is a uh, coconut apricot luxury wax I don't oh y'all this thing is heavy so I hope you guys can see that, but this is, let me say it again, Coconut Apricot uh, Luxury cr Candle Wax. So this is the wax that I have been using since I've started making my candles, since I started my business. Y'all got it on my shirt, but I don't know. Since I started making my business, this is the wax that I've been using. When I say this wax, when it say luxury, it means luxury. And I did get this in 11 labs. I ordered it off of Amazon and it was like $36. I'm going to try to put a picture because y'all don't judge me. I really do not know how to do the links down below. But if I can't figure it out, I definitely will put up a picture, a screenshot or something. So that you guys can see the exact wax that I ordered off of Amazon. So um, now that we got our wax out the way, I just want to, we're going to get into what we need to do next with as far as, um, milling down our wax for our candles so i'll be right back okay you guys now that we have our wax out the way what we need to do next to get our wax melted all melted down for our candles we're going to you're going to need a kitchen scale because you want to measure out 
because you want to measure out everything that you are using all of your materials as far as like the liquids your oils and your wax you want to measure them out so you can get an accurate pool or as close as an accurate pool that you can get for your candles so you want to measure that out and then you still want to measure make sure you got a, a accurate measure for your oils so you don't pour too much and you don't pour not enough so you need a kitchen scale i did order this kitchen scale off of amazon it was maybe like ten dollars it didn't cost that much little kitchen skills like this doesn't cost anything um you know if you're on a budget like me because when i first got started i uh, i was on a budget so i understand you're gonna need something to measure out your wax in like sit this on top of your scale zero it out and then measure your wax so when you measure your wax you can know that you got a the right amount that you need for your candle so that's what we're gonna do next I'm just gonna um, cut some wax and measure it out see what I am gonna do just because of my pouring picture being small I am gonna just measure I mean my not my pouring picture my bowl being so small I am gonna um, measure out what I need as much as I need for one candle at a time and then just add it to my um, my pouring picture so it won't be a big hassle of me trying to fill all my wax into this little bowl for three candles so that's what i'm going to do right now you guys Like a sensei Juju hit my line like what you want, babe Hit her with the script like Working out with her, babe No way, I'm at the gym You at the gym, it's a small world I might just have to link with you and him Look up at this girl like Let me get my words right Cause if she catch me with you Then we going down like Suge Knight I got a plan, you take your bag like that Then we gon' hit that gas Make a U-turn, hundred miles on the 90 Gotta pray to God that we just do not crash Okay, okay, acting on no C like I just tried Ayy, shorty the school to my rock and I'm not talking about Jack Black Ayy, what you do when you doing something you not supposed to do Thinking it's gon' shield the one you love like they bulletproof Just like Paul Pierce, it's all lie when they know the truth Ayy, I'll cry in the end when she leave it. Okay you guys, now that we have our wax all measured out into our pouring picture I like to personally, I don't know, like I said I'm still learning but I like to put it directly onto my owl, but just have it on low, 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 low heat so that it wasn't, it won't burn and um, it won't melt down too, too, too fast, you know. So, I, if some people do the double boiling method, I've never tried it. Maybe I should, maybe I might like it better, but I do do directly from pouring pitcher to stove on, I mean, owl that's on the stove I don't do the boiling method but I am going to show you guys what I do when I put it on to the stove okay you guys I just take it I put it on the lowest one right there on low and then I just take my wax and I set it directly onto the owl and I just let it do its thing for a little minute and then I will just come back to it to check it every few minutes just to stare it to make sure that everything is melting down properly so this is what I do 10 to owl I don't do the double boiling method but if you would like you can go ahead and try it you know the double boiling method but this is what I do and I shall see y'all in a second 
Okay, you guys, now that I have my wax between 150 and 160, I am going to now add my fragrance oil to the container. And now we're going to just stare at it. Okay, you guys, now that we have our wax melted down, our um, fragrance oil into our wax, we have it all stirred up. We have our containers properly prepped. Um, I did use some popsicle sticks that had holes in them to hold up my wicks so that they won't um, slouch down once I pour my um, wax into the container. So right now, I'm about to pour the wax into my containers and let them sit so that they can cure, you guys. So now you guys, we have our candles all set in our container. Be careful because they is hot. Like it's hot wax, you know, it's hot. So you definitely want to be careful with that. So I definitely, I'm just leave them right here on the countertop to set. While they're setting, I'm just going to watch me some TV and maybe eat a snack or two. So I will be back to show you guys what they look like once they dry and I'll cure up. So I will see y'all in a minute. Okay, you guys, here go the final look of my product. I love, love, love this wax. The hot throw is amazing. The cold throw is amazing. You guys, please go purchase the um, coconut apricot cream luxury candle wax, you guys, off of Amazon. I love it. Look how it brings a smooth top. There's no dips or anything going on in my candles. I love, love, love them, but I am going to decorate them in another video, so comment down below if you guys want to see that or if you're interested in seeing how I will be decorating my candles, then do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit that thumbs up, you guys. Hit that bell so that you can be notified every time.